Okay, this is our latest Bridgeport Miller machine. It's got the 48 inch table, this one, so it's a longer table, slightly more travel. It's got the belt drive head, and again, it's got the four axis DRO system. This one's also got X, Y, and Z power feeds, and it's got a slotting head on the back that we'll do a, a little demo on in a separate video. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the machine now and, and give you a virtual demo. Um, please come down and see it for yourself in real life. Okay, so we've had a full strip down service on this machine. We completely rebuilt it. Uh, we replaced all the lead screws, all the nuts for the lead screws, all sorts of bearings. Uh, same in the heads, had all new bearings in the head, new belts. Uh, the spindle has had a new match pair precision bearings in and a radio grind to the R8 taper. Uh, and then obviously as we're rebuilding the machine we're doing a lot of work including painting it of course in Bridgeport blue grey enamel it's very nice paint it's very hard wearing uh, so it, it is absolutely beautiful once they're done uh, when the when the regrinding obviously we scrape in all the gibs and then we also regrind the top of the table and the two sides to make sure everything is nice square and true for you okay so I'm going to run through and uh, show you all working it's lovely and smooth all the way across obviously with the regrind and the new lead screws it should be it's absolutely beautiful all the way across. Uh, same with the y-axis, smooth all the way, almost no backlash at all, absolutely lovely. And the knee as well has had a new lead screw in the knee and uh, new nuts there and uh, the new the main bearing as well we've replaced that. <coughs> we replaced that standard on all of our machines actually it always needs doing. That's really nice. Uh, all the, uh, the locks have been serviced, so they're the X, sorry, the Y, the, the knee and the X is all serviced and working. The lube system's all been replaced, there's brand new lube pipe there, uh, there's new metering units, uh, the pumps all been serviced and checked and all working great. The lube oil is BD68, that's the viscosity of it, uh, so that's what you need to put in the pump down the bottom there and in these little pots here and here to keep the obviously the spindle and the head running great and again a little bit in the uh, in the drawer bar there as well okay so powering up now on the uh, I'm going to do X Y and Z all together just to see you, just to show you them all running together so you, the other machine can deliver that sort of power uh, obviously you wouldn't do that in a, any normal machining operation but it's just for the speed and for the video So they've all got a uh, rapid override and you can vary the feed down to whatever you need it to be. And rapid override with this button on the top here, they've all got the same. Okay, so as well as that, they've got stops here as well. So there's an auto, when, the, when this stop hits the switch in the middle, it'll shut down automatically. So you can adjust them to wherever you have the vice or the particular job on. Uh, and hidden underneath here, there's some extra stops as well. So just don't take those out uh, there for your safety. So don't take those off, don't take the other stops out and you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, uh, there's some stops down here for the Y-axis. I would say just leave those where they are. Uh, you tend to forget about them if you, if you do move them. So I would leave those where they are. They're at the set at the extremities, so they'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so moving on from the bottom end, we're gonna move on to the quill and the, the, variables, uh, the, the belt drive head here. So at the moment we're running in high range. So when we're in high, this, this lever is facing towards us and this lever is, is in, the, in the rear position. Okay, so we're gonna fire up now. This is a twin speed motor, so this is the slower range first. Although we're in high range on the gear, the motor has two ranges, so we're in the slow, so that's the slow, and then we'll go up to the higher range. And you hear it's nice and quiet in both ranges. <coughs> I'll just hit the brake just to show you it does work, and then reverse. It's just as quiet in both ranges on reverse as well. Okay, so I'll change now from high to low on the gear. So I'll push this handle here to the, to the right. 
okay make sure it's all the way over and this handle is going to come towards us sometimes you have to turn the spindle okay firing up again it's just as quiet in low, in low gear in the both speeds on the motor and reverse again absolutely lovely okay so what I will do now is I'm going to change back to high range and then we're going to test the the quill for you okay so this handle moves to the back this one moves to the front but before you do don't hit the button hit the switch just yet you must make sure turn the spindle and make sure it pops hear that popping noise you must do that with this it's only when you're going from low to high and it's particular to the belt drive head okay so it fires up just great so I'm going to engage the feed now I'm going to feed down on the quill you see that engages just great so for every spindle speed we've got three different feed rates that's the highest at the moment that's the slowest and that's the medium so they're all working absolutely wonderfully really nice I'll let it come all the way down I'll tell you what I'll speed it up for you a bit and can you see the uh, the quill readouts giving a, giving a readout on the console there that's coming from this scale here slow it down a bit before let it trip out there we go it trips out really nice so just coming off the stop so you can't engage the feed if it's all the way down or all the way up the top so just come off the stop slightly reverse the feed now by pulling this knob out and you see it reverses just great as well the feeds all the way up Just speed it up a bit Okay, so it uh, feeds up and down really nicely and I'll just turn the spindle off okay so the spindles off and we do have a quick release handle so you can adjust the handle to wherever you need it to be um, it's a really nice feature uh, and as well we've got a quill lock so if you're doing any milling just push it all the way up to the top lock the quill stop here and then your handles locked so for doing any milling okay it's obviously a guard fitted and there's actually a four axis DRO system fitted here so you've got X Y knee being the Z scale and then you've got a quill scale here so that's the third and the fourth axis here and they sum together so when you move down in the quill and you move up in the knee it appears it'll give you a reading as though the hole's gone deeper on the, on the console there so it's a really nice system okay so yeah that lovely machine fully rebuilt uh, please come down and see it for yourself in real life thanks for watching